Hi guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today, I'm going to be telling you the reasons why you shouldn't buy the Alexander McQueen oversized sneaker. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, sometimes Mondays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Before I begin, if you like these shoes, then great, good for you. There are some great things about these shoes and all of that. I obviously, I bought them. I must have liked them at some point. So look, let's not try to get too heated. At the end of the day, it's a sudden pair of shoes, you know? I'm just doing this video to inform you if you're thinking about buying them, blah, 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 what my cons have been throughout my experience of having these. I bought these about two years ago now. Also, if you're like feeling particularly touchy, don't come for any of my shoes in the back just because I've come for your shoe. I do still wear these every so often, but um, you know what, I've, I've, I've had my trials and tribulations and that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. Con number one, the first reason why you shouldn't buy these shoes is that everyone has them. My gosh. Clearly, this depends on where you live, but I live in London. Every Tom, Dick and Harry and their mother and their dog and their sort of ferret or gerbil has these shoes, let me tell you. I see these shoes all the time to the point that it has become the Louis Vuitton never full of shoes, okay? I have not seen a single pair of shoes as much as I have seen these. You know, obviously a lot of people have them because they like them and blah, blah, blah. But with luxury items, it gets to a point where so many people have them and it's so overly popular that it is overly hyped and therefore, dare I say it, basic. Look, I'm the kind of person that like, if I'm gonna buy something, I'd rather not see 10 people every single day wearing that thing, you know? And I appreciate that, yes, other people are going to like the same thing, other people are gonna buy it. But this sodding shoe is absolutely everywhere and on everyone that I am just sick and tired. So there you go. If you're bothered that a lot of people will, will have it, then that's one thing to consider. And again, obviously it depends where you live. Okay, reason number two, the sizing is all over the place, okay? This, and this is not just my personal experience, a lot of people I know that have these shoes have told me the same thing. I am a size 39 in general in everything, okay? These are also a size 39. The size down was way too small, and my normal size at the time I was like, yeah, I can deal with it, blah, blah, blah. It is now very large to the point that my heel is just up and down all over the place escaping the back of this sodding shoe so again be very conscious with the sizing um have a try i personally just have like fallen in between the cracks of the sizing so there you go keep it in mind reason number three didn't occur to me until after I'd bought them. I'm not saying that even if I knew this, I wouldn't have bought them because clearly I really liked them at the time and I, and I bought them. Um, they look like Stan Smiths. They look very, very similar to Stan Smiths, except for the fact that they have this kind of like chunky sole, right? When you buy something that's a lot of money, look, this is a luxury item, it's a lot of money. You buy it, fair enough, there are like some shoe styles that are very similar across luxury brands and like Nike, Adidas, sports brands and stuff like that. But the luxury ones, there's always like something different. There's always like a little edge, right? I'm sorry, but these look exactly the same. Apart from the fact that you can get the thing at the back in like a whole rainbow of colors and everything else, everything else, especially if you get the white ones, looks exactly like Stan Smith's. Look, it really dawned on me when I like took a picture of myself wearing these and somebody commented being like, oh, are they new Stan Smith's? And I was like, wow, okay, 360 pounds for Stan Smith's. So keep that in mind too. The final reason is the way that they age. So basically, look, I have worn these and I've had these for two years. I wouldn't say I have absolutely hammered these shoes. I have worn them a lot, but I wouldn't say I've worn them like an excessive amount or anything. This is one thing to note. On the inside of the shoes, over time, it starts to wrinkle and these little holes start to begin to split. So I think it's actually a little bit more obvious on this shoe. And it just looks very aged quite quickly. So that's really something to note and something that I wouldn't have expected. And I know that it's not on the side of the shoe that everyone sees. 
it's still like you have to see that and deal with it and be like mm, it's looking a little bit like you know a little bit worse for wear like i say i haven't particularly hammered these shoes do you have these shoes have you experienced anything similar are you thinking about getting these shoes let me know in the comments i'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys